An investigation is underway after a Patriots fan died Sunday at Gillette Stadium. Yeah, that tragedy comes as more and more fights are breaking out at sporting events. Tom Lamas shares what witnesses say led to the tragedy. Tonight, Massachusetts State Police and local prosecutors investigating the death of a fan who witnesses say was punched in the head at the Patriots Dolphins game Sunday night. This video showing stadium security administering CPR to 53 year old Dale Mooney. A fan in the Dolphins jersey reached over and just punched the victim twice in the face. Eyewitnesses say as the fourth quarter got underway with the stadium packed, a scuffle broke out in the stands. Initially, police said Mooney, a husband, father, and lifelong Patriots fan, suffered, quote, an apparent medical event. What do you remember seeing right after he was punched in the face? Right after he was punched in the face, he immediately went down. Um, he slumped over in a chair. The concern came, like I said, after about 45 seconds to a minute. The deadly incident comes as brawls are being documented all over the country at NFL games this season. Look at what happened just this past Sunday. This fight between three women happened at that same Patriots Dolphins game. And in Cincinnati at the Bengals versus Ravens game, the hardest hit happened off the field when this man, dressed as a tiger, headbutted another fan, knocking him out. According to the NFL, one incident is too many. They say their records, which have not been examined by NBC News, show after 32 games this season, they've had 80 reports of disorderly conduct, down from last year at this time when it was 140. You have alcohol, you have fans, you have passion, you have people betting on games, you have all these different things coming on at once. 